just through the motions of, of, of playing this game. It seemed like you, you came out and there was a tension kind of stepping down. It was, it was kind of a weird experience, you know, um, coming into Amway on the other side for the first time in my career. Uh, but, you know, we didn't, I didn't want to make it about me. You know, we make it about uh, getting a win. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get that. You pride yourself so much on defense. How frustrating is it seeing to the left of the field? That, that was the vulnerability of the Tigers. Yeah, I mean, we weren't doing anything on defense. You know, they were getting whatever they wanted. Um, yeah, this one hurts. You know, obviously I wanted to come in and uh, help lift my team to a win. And uh, we weren't able to do that. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll uh, look at the film. And I think it really comes down to just one-on-one -on -one defense a lot of the time. But, you know, we got to have each other's back out there. You know, it's not one-on-one -on -one all game. So. Aaron, go. Coach Ed Monte talked about that third quarter for you guys and then that starting not being ready to play. What did you see from your perspective? Oh, we just got uh, complacent. You know, we a team like this, you can't give them any confidence. And once they got confidence, uh, they just took it around with it. Um, so, you know, they played really well. Uh, got some good ball players, uh, uh, some good young pieces. And uh, once it started clicking for them, uh, you know, they were tough to stop. How do you put it, you know, when you think back to it, how do you, you know, place in that championship? Yeah, um, learned a lot. Learned a lot uh, from a lot of different coaches um, and a lot of different players. Um, um, just learn what it means to be a pro in the NBA um, and how much you have to work to, to stay on top of your game. I um, mean, it's not cutting corners. Um, you know, knowing the ups and downs of uh, 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 staying even throughout the highs and lows. You know, I learned a lot. Um, the thing I miss most about uh, Orlando is the community. Aaron, you wanted this game. Did you sense that they wanted it just as bad the same way? I think so. You know, they got some uh, some guys on there. Uh, they got G, RJ. I uh, probably wanted it really bad. Uh, you know, Cole, um, Chuma, uh, Mo, you know, this this is a, this is a good win for them uh, and a really bad loss for us. How much of that was just not getting stops? I think that's uh what had to do had a lot to do with it, not turning them over, not getting the stops. Um and then we just weren't executing with aggression. That aside, what advice would you give to the young guys who are here this offseason, especially this upcoming tournament? Mm. Yeah, just control what you control. You know, every day, um, just be diligent in your work ethic, uh, be intelligent in your work ethic, um, and then just take incremental steps day by day by day um, and just focus on being the best pro you can be. And then collectively coming together on the court and, and focus on uh, focus on winning. Um, just uh, make sure everybody's pushing in the right direction. Coach, coach, this morning was talking about how he feels like you're playing the best basketball of your career that he's seen you play right now. Do you feel that same way? I have uh, another level to get to. You know, um, there's a couple of things I need to um, tune up. Um, and uh, yeah, I think y'all see, I got got a couple more gears. Uh, just in really kind of reading the game in between the lines, like uh, on some film, uh, a little bit of footwork, um, uh, reading the game a little bit better, um, attacking a little bit better, and uh, just. Continuing to knock down the track. Playing with your song during while you were warming up, did you hear that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate you.